Okay, next Man City. I'm not even sure we need to talk about them because all you've got to do is turn on the news channels and um, someone will give you a full yeah. rundown of them. Everyone knows what they've bought, everyone knows how much money they've got. 2 1 for England to score. Um, we have a proper football fan, we are watching England. We're watching England. That way. is commitment. We do it long details. We'll talk about him and we can just go. Yeah, pretty <laughs> Okay, Man City. Ultimately, though, they need to buy a defender. If not, they obviously make a really great defender, but he's never going to be a fit all season. They're also going to have a lot of unhappy players, at least two will ship out in January because they cannot play that many strikers and keep them all happy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the two best young players they had in Sturridge and Chet Evans have obviously got rid of this postseason, so I think they're looking for quick reasons, which I just can't see happening. Still, mm -hmm. what, top six, top seven, I guess? Well, well if you spend all that money and play top players, yeah. you'd be apt to well. Mark Hughes would be gone by September of the season. Yeah, probably. which is bad because he's obviously one of the best young managers. It's just, yeah, I, I think Mark Hughes will be gone in the season, unfortunately. Great manager, just got out in the wrong place yeah. at the wrong time. No, no, no. And gone for the wrong reason. So, Man City is a massive question mark. I don't even think their fans know. Obviously, they're dead excited to be able to play the drop. But no, no. anyone would be so. Uh, who have we got now? We've got uh, the apparent Mike Reds. Uh, Ronaldo, he was for the last, what, two, three seasons? Yeah. Is it going to be a burden to take off the team, to be honest? Like it was when I'm reading that Arsenal, it's possible. But I think, to be honest, I think Rooney will do well. He'll play a more central role and he will score goals. I don't think Bale will toss up for the task. I know people love him. I don't like the guy. He doesn't really work with him for me. Uh, but, you know, again, they're, you know, best team in the world over, over the last sort of five, eight years. So, you know, they're going to be there, thereabouts, and they're not going to have too many problems. I've read all over the place that Man U would come third. I don't see how you can uh, win three trophies last season, get to the Champions League final, and then be written off because you've lost two players. Very naive uh, comment to a lot of people, but... I understand, but then they start with Fletcher and Park in the centre of the field for the charity shield, you know. They wouldn't walk into Everton as the middle side, so I don't understand how they can start from the centre of the park really. But there you go, that's what happened. But still a strong United side throughout. Amazing defence, solid. Yeah. Uh, 22, 21 clean sheets by Van der Sar last season. Yeah. Agreed, he's injured for the start, but I still think personally champions. But yeah, they're just yeah. yeah, pick your pick your order. Yeah. Okay, next is Pompey. <laughs> I think they'll probably be into administration at some point <laughs> soon, and they will probably go down. Also, Glenn Johnson came over to Liverpool, good signing for us. Oh, sorry for Liverpool being. Uh, I don't think you can lose someone who can stop goals, I don't think you can lose someone who can score goals and still do well in the Premiership. So, two poor uh, uh, sales, but they need the money. Actually, they don't need the money if that Aaron guys buy them. Yeah. Just, I think. Interesting to see what happens as well. I'm not sure they've got many ambitions, so these players are leaving. I think for them it's just consolidation, try and stand there and start to go and look at some of the doing the best money. Yep. Really, uh, Got a brilliant striker, James BC up front. Did really well last season. Yeah. Scored yeah, plenty of goals. Had a time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but him and Fuller did bang in quite a few goals, and that's that helped them. And, uh, yeah, but that, uh, I think they're hard team to play against, given the size and strength, just the way they play. They're never going to play attractive football. They'll probably stay up, I think, just work, mate. Uh, again, Fuller's probably going to be key to them. He's got to score 15 plus goals like last season. I think they're, a, they're an old school, ugly side. No one wants to go to Stoke. It's not going to nicest place in the world. No. Um, so people want to get in, get out, and if they can get a draw, then so be it. Yeah, I don't think that's in the first. So that uh, On to Sunderland. Could be an interesting team, I think, this season. Steve Bruce has obviously gone across. One of my favourite young managers in the game at the moment, I think. Uh, it's going to do pretty well, though. He's got the back of the with Renard Green, another football person. Ben stays injury free. We've said this a lot. I think he can go and score 20 goals in the game. Yeah, season. that they Because he will play every game. I know there's a stop Kenwin Jones up there on day, of course, they've got the crazy Campbell, but I think Campbell's going to be clever. Uh, Kenwin Jones is going to get the big one the best, going to come in. Yeah, definitely. Ben is key for them. I mean, obviously, there's, you know, no, there's only a couple of one man teams in the league, like Liverpool, but Ben is uh, going to be crucial for them. Yeah, his goals will keep them yeah. more than flow. They made a good start today, I think, in the uh, catch world week as well. We've got a player who will uh, hopefully uh, get in the side and who you knows, maybe even push for a World Cup place next year on the fringe of the English squad. Yep. OK, 
Okay, next up is Tottenham. Again, I believe beginning of the season is every Tottenham's nightmare as they just do absolutely <laughs> shocking. Regardless of the players they've got, they do awful. Um, but minus uh, superstitions in the past, they have got a good side. Keep young side, yeah. Strike force, again, excellent. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I might have to be useless on this one, so I have no idea because it depends on when the top start of the season, whether it be now yeah. or whether it be on the I think games. obviously Harry Redknapp is um, going to be proof, and I think they will hit, well, they won't hit the ground quite well because they'll lose at home to Liverpool for the second day of the season on Sunday. But uh, brought in uh, for someone from uh, Newcastle, once again, you can your hands up and something like that. Not a bad signing, Crouch to throw back together. Problem is, again, they're going to have Keane, Defoe, and Crouch. Are they going to keep them all happy? Um, I'm still there. Yeah, and um, you know, one, two people are going to be sitting out the game. Again, somebody will disappear in the January transfer window. Expect it to be the remaining. Yeah. This is called Roman, just like Romanian. You might actually check. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, somewhere in Eastern Europe, I believe. <laughs> somewhere on planet. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. When we are, when we top and finish. I think, again, well, I've said a lot too many for the top six now. Uh, you're going to be top eight, but again, it's going to be there and Everton, Aston Villa, and Man City. Yeah. Uh, the the According to us, I do believe the top eight is going to be overpopulated with about 12 yeah. teams. But, but uh, uh, you're going to do it first. <laughs> it's going to be lots of people on the same points. Okay, West Ham United. Uh, so, look at your manager again. Um, young team, to be fair, isn't it? Mm. Um, Again, you worry about the money, worries after the Norwegian bank or whatever it was, went bust, and there was talks of going to administration. But at the moment, we bought that and everything's sorted out now. Um, again, I can't see Bashman stay there for very long, I think we're going away. They've got a good defence, they've got a good keeper, Rob Green. Um, no matter what people do think of him, he's a good keeper. Um, I think they'll. What, do you run the cup and probably finish mid table or something like that? Yeah, I think Carl Cole coming to his own last season for them, although he did get yeah. an injury towards the end, but again scored in his first game back, which was last game of the season, he's progressed so much playing regularly as will any and yeah. No, I think he's pretty key to I think West Ham very consistent, but I'd say tenth eleventh. Probably not what the West Ham fans want, but maybe what they're yeah. really looking at realistically. With that doubt, uh onto Wigan, um, it's going to be interesting. They're going to struggle this year. I think they've obviously lost the Lenzi, one of their best players, and now lost Catamaran. Uh, obviously, uh, Steve Bruce went off to Sunderland. I think they will struggle. They'll do not too bad. Shana may leave as well before the start of the season, I think. But uh, I would hope they would stay up to a lot of the Connors on a side working team, and uh, I think they will. Uh, they'll struggle, but you know they'll be pretty safe in the last few games. But. Valencia, Bruce and Catherine were massive losses yeah. to that day. Because yeah. there's guidance for Bruce and actual quality for the other two. With that day, they've made a few signings and stuff, but to be fair, they haven't really you know, done that well. So, mm -hmm. so unless something else comes in, then uh, they're going to struggle, but hopefully they're going to finish it next season. Okay, and finally, Wolves. Uh, Dirty Wolves, just got promoted again. Not really sure what to think, to be honest. I mean, they've got Ebanks played up front. I think he'll score some goals, but again, he's unproven in the Premiership. For yeah. some unknown reason, they've wasted, what, six mil on Kevin Doyle. Mm. He's never done anything in the Premiership in the two, three times he's tried. Why do you waste it on them? I have no idea. Um, on their day, they're a good side, but what, Norwich beat them 5 2, 5 3 last season. Look yeah. at where they are now. Um, so, uh, I think they'll go down again straight back. Yeah, I think they'll put up some big performances as every little uh, team does, but again, it's consistency, it's doing it throughout the season, and they think they'll yeah. do it throughout the season. And championship back in the game. Yeah, I think so. That, uh, and uh, well, that brings us to the final. Sorry, it's been a long time. Uh, you heard it here first. Chelsea and Liverpool fight it out. United <laughs> from third. And uh, we shall hopefully update you during the season. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Bye bye, bye now. Oh, it's about long, though. It was long. What were we up to there? On that we'll one, go about an hour and a half. Usually we're going to chuck it, <laughs> chuck it off for being too long.